<laughs> okay, the way you do this in I'm, I'm running it in uh, Pro 2017. <clears throat> it's first off, you have to take this area here, which is obviously where the clear story goes, and what <clears throat> you would uh, uncheck the ceiling, what you've done. Now, uh, let's see. Let me check your drawing. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this one. Okay, the pitch isn't called out there. Nor is this pitch is not called out. I'm assuming that you, the main pitch of the roof, you've already set properly. And this appears to be the same pitch because they're parallel. So I'm just going to go with that. So uh, this roof plane, whoops. OK, I don't think that's going to work. See, what Cheap Architect does is with the uh, truss tool, it just fills the gap. Let me show you in this elevation camera. It'll fill this gap here. So your, your trust, well, maybe that'll work. We just have to draw some custom ceiling planes in here to get this to work. So I'm going to go back to plan view and check what the pitch is. Uh, 612, okay. So that's, that's what the pitch is set to over here in the build roof dialog, and that's what controls custom ceiling planes. So we'll go over here to build roof ceiling plane. And we'll draw those right on this wall here. You have to create a baseline just as if it was a, a roof plane and then extrude it out like it was a roof plane. Well, you, these you draw uh, on the inside edge of the front uh, framing like that. And then you uh, join them using the join roofs tools, although they're not roofs, they're ceiling planes. We'll stretch that out, and it goes to the inside of the framing on, on the right and left also. Okay, now we'll go back to that camera I have open. And you see there's the uh, beginning. This creates a void in which the um, truss tool is going to fill. <clears throat> so now we'll go over here to build framing. Uh, where's the truss tool? Yeah, roof truss. Let's we'll drag through there and creates a truss. Yeah, we want to turn that layer on. Now you can't see it in here because that layer is not turned on in this layer set uh, dialog. So we'll go here to framing and find roof trusses. Floor trusses, roof trusses. See, the red plus sign shows that it's there, but this display column is unchecked, so it's, they're not going to. Okay, it missed the mark some. It went goofy over here. Let me see why it did that. We'll check this and see what it, how its, it's dialog box is set. We got oh you got the ceiling turned off. Why did you do that? Porch is going to have a ceiling. Okay, I think that's a you did that mistakenly. We need the ceilings turned on in these areas, at least initially. Now I'm going to click on this truss and force it to rebuild. Okay, that's more like what I was expecting to see. We had the ceiling off over here, so it just, you know, kept kept building. Now these cord points in Pro, you can't edit them. If it's either like what you want or it isn't. But, uh, you know, this, no, it's not anything like this pattern here. But uh, home designer software is not an engineering program. Uh, an engineer designs trusses and, and 
these uh, three-dimensional trusses that I just drew here are placeholders for the real trusses. I wouldn't spend a lot of worry about building the trusses but uh, because you're not an engineer and it's against the law for you to design trusses. I'm going to set this truss here to 24 inches from that edge and then we'll uh, We want to make uh, oh, 24 copies and move those, uh, each copy, um, minus 24 inches. Hopefully that's to the right. <laughs> no. I'm going to undo that. And now that I have the direction figured out, i make 24. I'm just guessing at the number. I can delete the ones I don't need and move those 24 to the minus 24. Okay. Now I got a bunch of them out here. Yeah, this one here. I'm going to leave that one there. We'll just delete these. And this one here, I'm going to move it manually. I'm going to move it to minus 4 from that position. Oops, move it back over with the arrow keys. Yes, it, it's about on the end. If you want that exact, you just zoom in and use point-to-point -point move. And move this bad boy right there to there. That's where you want it. And this truss, you want it to, uh, we want to force it to rebuild and make, program it an in truss. This is all in case you want to be uh, as accurate as possible. Now this one here, I'm going to copy it and move this over and make it an end truss. That's close enough. We'll open it up. Force rebuild, end truss. And now let's go over here to the um, framing overview and you can see the trusses I made. See, this, the end truss is going to be configured differently from the interior trusses. Okay. So, in Chief Premier, let me go back to this elevation. You, you can actually, uh, let me back clip that so it doesn't look so complicated. See, I want uh, that and back clip and what is look at one truss here. Yeah, in Chief Premier you can actually uh, edit this uh, and change the cords around and so forth, but in Home Designer Pro you cannot. So this is as close as Pro is capable of, of getting to the truss that you specified, okay? And don't worry about it unless you're a structural engineer, and if you're a structural engineer you need to upgrade to Premiere so you can do everything you 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 want to do, might want to do okay thank you